Hi and welcome. Today I'd like to take a closer look at the variation object. If taking a look at a branching structure like this, you often want to have a randomization of those objects. This can be done with help of the variation object. If you place the variation object inside the trunk hierarchy, and then place several child objects into the variation object, we can see that we get a random distribution. We can change the type from random to sequential or to spread. The fourth option is exception, where we can define one exception of the rule. Exception means that we only can or only need um, two objects. We need the main object, in this case the first in the hierarchy, and then we have the exception, that's the blue one, and we can change the exception number, and that allows us to create a different shape, a different colored um, exception of the rest. When variation is set to exception, only two objects are needed, so I can remove the third branch from our uh, variation object. In case you need variation right here and still control over one specific branch, then we can nest several variation objects. Let's rename that one to exception. I rename that to exception 0 in that case because I want to control this main or this very first branch. I'll also replace that one with a parameter object so that it's really clear that we have our regular branching structure and this special object over here. If we want to have variation, then nest a variation object right here, drag the branch and the other two branch objects inside the variation object. So now we can see we have exception, our variation object and our exception object. I'm still able to change the exception number. I'm able to change the random seed and it's even possible to set this um, structures to spread or to sequential. So the nesting of two variation objects allows us to combine randomization and direct control of a specific branch. It's even possible to nest um, more of those variation objects. I'll add another one. I'll rename that to exception, let's say 10. Set that to exception, increase the number to 10. Drag it inside the hierarchy and drag the variation object in here. And now I'll use another one in here. And now you can see we have our first exception. I still can change it. And we have our second exception. It's also possible to change that. And we have our variation object set to random, where we can change the seed to randomize the child objects that are used um, for all other um, objects. Again, it's possible to set that to spread or to sequential.
So with the help of this simple setup, you get access uh, to specific to a specific branch and can change that specific branch. So you get full control of the shape of trees, for example. So you could replace a healthy branch structure, branching structure, uh, with a dead branching structure, for example. You could simply alter the shape to something really specific. You can pick a certain branch and simply remove it by adding a null object instead. You get full control. So please keep in mind variation objects can be nested to create even more variation inside your branching structures. Thanks for watching.